Um, there's a story of MJ against Detroit. You know that was the big thing. Uh, but he just, I think he just, he just learned from it. Uh, it's a great experience. You gotta go through lows first uh, to go on top. Uh, so I think that's that's a great experience. Your legacy is largely framed by finals and Western Conference finals. This is gonna stick to him. Like he was atrocious defensively in these finals. And that's going to stick. That's why I say my comp to him is he's a better Carmelo Anthony. I don't think he's in great shape. I don't think he's easy to play with. I don't think he's committed on the defensive end. This is, again, something I love about NBA history. Every superstar we've seen has encountered their greatest weakness, their greatest vice, right? MJ and Kobe, it was, are they willing to trust their teammates when it matters, right? For LeBron, it was the jumper. He had to literally have Greg Popovich ignore him at the three-point line in 2008 and then again in 2013 before he conquered those demons and and became the basketball player that he needed to be. Like even like Steph Curry and Nikola Jokic had to learn how to be better defensively. Luka Doncic has to take better care of his body so that he can hold up better physically over the course of an 82 game regular yeah. season and playoff run so that he can do his job on offense while also being at the very least a functional part of the defense. He does not need to be all world. He just needs to be better than this. Yeah. So the first part was was Luca talking about him overcoming demons like Jordan, and of course, your favorite guy, Callan Cowherd, and his guy, his uh, partner, <laughs> talking about Luca and other other end of it. Yeah, but what you think about it? I agree hundred percent. Luca is he is it's, it's 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 scary how talented he is, um, but it's like for him to be this out of shape, bro. Like he's so out of shape that he don't even play defense. All he do is lean on people. He don't really move his feet. He don't do nothing. He 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 has that he has that deceptive type defense where he he, he plays the passing lane pretty well. He, his anticipation when people pass the ball, he knows how to read that before it happens, and that's dope. But when it's one on one, and you the best player in the world supposedly, you got to be able to step up to the plate and move them puppies. Like like uh, Gary Payton used to say, you got to move them puppies. If you can't move them puppies, then you're gonna become a liability. I don't care how much you score. Yeah, his um, he's also them hands, um, very good hands as far as getting in. Uh, you think you beat him, he just knocks it out your hand. Yeah, um, that's pretty because, good. That's because he lean on you. <laughs> <laughs> he leaned you talk about somebody that's 6'8 yeah. 260 he need to be about 225 230 let me see he, like, he, he did lose a little bit this year he may have gained some back I'm, he may have hey, I'm not going front he looked the same he looked normal. He looked just <laughs> like he did his rookie year bro he ain't changed the only thing that got better was his mind because he started to under game, understand the game more. And I think he's taking advantage of that. And he's being super comfortable with just his mind. But no, you have to be physically ready and involved because we're going to need you in June. You're that good that we can possibly, like LeBron, we need to see you in June. LeBron didn't start getting tired till year, what, year 17, 16? That's when you start to kind of see fatigue. But his first 15 seasons, that boy was all over the place. Crazy. He Even when he was in Detroit, when he was younger, and he tried to do, he was front. He was talking about, I'm tired. When he had to do, he tried to do the little Michael Jordan when they were trying to carry him. And when he played <laughs> Joe, when he played Joe Pistons, that was cap. But <laughs> he didn't get tired. Why? Because he worked on his body. I got it. That's what Luca. Luca needs to focus on his body. Kobe had to. Kobe said it. I had to focus on my body. MJ said I had to focus on my body. And LeBron, I had to focus on my body. And that's what Luca has to do if he wants to be considered, possibly, the greatest to ever do it at his position. And he can do it. He's got the definitely the offensive skill set to to do it. Yeah, but even on offense, though, bro, in the fourth quarter, he gets tired. Where he, instead of taking it to the basket, he starts shooting. He just starts shooting the ball, or he uh behind the back, or he trying to do these little crazy passes because he don't got the energy, bro. bro he, he's what is he? Twenty four years old, bro. Twenty five, maybe going to twenty six. Twenty five years old, bro. Like, bro, come on. You know how much energy I had at twenty five? Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, know, you think he's gonna stick him out of game today? Uh only if only if Kyrie show up. He did show up last game. Yeah, Kyrie showed up, but Kyrie got tired because he had he didn't have no help. They need a third. They need in order for them to progress, they need one more score. One no, they need one more ISO player. You know what? You know, did you hear the clip from Stephen A talking about Tim Hardaway? What'd he say? Talking about he'd uh he, he basically just didn't do a good job. Uh he played all those minutes to get no, no points, no fouls, no nothing. But Tim not really getting minutes. About he, they just started playing him <laughs> in game two. He didn't play game one for real. Right. They he just he didn't even play in the playoffs like that, really, at all. At all. Exactly. Bro, ever since they made these trades, bro, then he got then he got then he got hurt. Uh yeah. I want to say in February, uh, in February or uh, something like that, he got hurt. Bro, he has not he he missed like a month of basketball, came back, and when he came back, they had it all sold up. They, they started playing the young dudes. What's the yeah. young light skinned dude that got blocked by Porzingis trying you know, to dunk? Exum or um uh what they, they started playing Exum. That's one of them, but yeah. the other the, the other younger, the younger dude, um, I don't know his name. <laughs> Um, it might be. I don't. I don't know his name, but he. Uh, uh, he young though. He young. He's super young. And this, I think, this is his second year on the team. But they started playing him, and he started actually play really good minutes. Yeah, I know we got you know, Lively and um, um, Washington, uh, yeah, Gafford. I'm, that's why I. Oh, Washington, PJ Washington. I hate that. Oh my gosh, I can't stand him right now, bro. What are you playing? Bro, he want to hit all of them damn three pointers on the foot on the freaking um, Timberwolves. He could miss. He averaged over twenty points. He I think he averaged like twenty one points that whole series, knocking three after three on the baseline. He can't hit nothing this series, and he getting the same look. He getting open looks, bro. He can't hit nothing. And then you got Derek. Uh, what's Derek Jones? Oh my gosh, bro. He a lot of too. I'm trying to find that guy's name while we while we uh, while uh, we're yeah. talking about it. Yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know his name, bro. Um, but he comes off the bench. He comes off the bench. He uh, he plays uh, he plays the one and the two, and he he he's a really good defender, really good defender. And he uh, he hits open threes, and he's very athletic. So when he gets to the basket, he will dunk on you, or he will finish strong. But yeah, super solid player. But I'm, t- bro. They don't. They don't. They man. They. I don't know how they. They made it though. I can't knock them. But they made it. They made it, man. They still got a shot. And I can't switch teams. I can't jump off the bandwagon. <laughs> you can't jump off the bandwagon now. This is how I am every season. If I pick a team, then I, I got to roll with them until they they, they they get put out. So like I said, Dallas and seven. <laughs> <laughs> Do I believe myself when I say that? No, but I understand that it's a po- it's always a possibility as long as you got that extra game. Yeah. <laughs>